couple of months ago I had did a video showing you how I make my homemade water kefir and dealing with the grains and feeding them to produce the water kefir. And I'll put the link to that below in the description in case you haven't seen the video yet. Today what I'm going to show you is how I make homemade ginger ale using that water kefir. Uh, as a second ferment to flavor it, you can use all kinds of different flavorings to make homemade sodas. This is my favorite so far. I'll hopefully have a couple of other flavors to share with you over the next few weeks. Uh, but the homemade ginger ale is very simple. Uh, it requires fresh ginger and your already fermented water kefir, which is ready for the second ferment. And then I use a ginger grater. Um, any kind of microplane type grater will work really well. Whatever you like for grating your fresh ginger. And as I do many things in the kitchen, I just kind of wing it and estimate how much ginger is going in. But I've measured this in the past to kind of give you an idea. And really what you're going for is about half a teaspoon of grated ginger if you want a mild ginger ale. And for a little more intense spicy ginger ale, go for a full teaspoon of finely grated ginger. And this is really amazing for tummy aches and stomach flu, things like that, because you're getting both all of the digestive benefits of the ginger and the probiotics of the water kefir. And it also just tastes really good. We really enjoy it. I personally have had a little trouble with the carbonation recently because my water kefir grains have not been doing as well and uh, working as fast. So somehow this has meant that they're carbonating too fast before they're done fermenting and then the carbonation seems to dissipate by the time it's done with its second ferment. So I'm still working on getting the timing just right. Ordinarily, in order to carbonate, you want to let your water kefir go for one to two days in the original ferment and then maybe one day in the second ferment. But there's so much that that depends on, like the health of your water kefir grains and the heat of your kitchen and things like that, that you really just have to do a little experimenting to get the peak carbonation time. And the longer you let the water kefir ferment in the initial fermentation, the more it's going to get this kind of funky, almost musty flavor, which um, my husband really doesn't like the sharpness of that flavor. I can tolerate it up to a point, but if you've forgotten about your water kefir and let it ferment for too long, it's probably just not worth drinking and you just need to start over with a new batch because it does get a very distinctive flavor. My husband says it smells like vomit. And if you want to go for a really spicy ginger ale, something more like Blenheim's, if you're familiar with that, you could easily add two teaspoons or more of ginger to go for the really pow flavor. And then oftentimes this is all that I do for the homemade ginger ale, is I just put the ginger in and then I cap it tightly to keep all of the fermentation gases in and to help it carbonate as much as possible, and then let it sit for another day or two to let the flavors really go into it. But sometimes what I like to do is add a little bit of cinnamon chips. And that just adds a nice depth of flavor, just kind of a more balanced flavor to kind of uh, round out the sharpness of the ginger. And I would say I probably add maybe a teaspoon of the cinnamon chips. And then often what I do after it's done uh, flavoring for a day or so as it's carbonating is I'll just put the whole thing in the fridge as it is and let the flavors continue to steep in the fridge. But if you like, you can filter it before you put it in the fridge. Uh, with something like this is what I like to use. You can just set it on top of either a glass, if you want to drink it right away, or another jar and pour it right through. And here you have the makings of some really yummy, really healthy, not very hard homemade ginger ale. And I hope that you love it.